Rock's channel right now. Let's get it! Here we go guys, we got another episode today, good old predator episode of this uh, beautiful zebra moray eel. These guys are pricey, you will drop a hundred bucks on these guys, no doubt. Tank size, you need about a 125. Care, they're moderate. Temper, you know, they're pretty peaceful, they're probably one of the most peaceful eels you can get. They, uh, I mean, they're not going to bother anything. They just kind of hang out. And another good thing is they're going to stay out in day. Unlike some eels, like a snowflake eel, they normally stay at night. So you'll actually see this guy come out a lot. Reef compatible. He is with caution. You know, he's fine. He'll be just okay in a reef tank. Temp, keep it 72, 78. Your DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025 everything's normal there max size is five feet which sounds crazy but that is not exaggerated the one you see in the video is about four feet long or maybe even longer he's huge he's old to really old eel colors on them you'll see blacks reds tans and whites seems like when they're younger they have a real red brown coat on them and then as they get older they turn all black and white Diet, <laughs> diet. They are strictly carnivore, of course. Shrimp, you know, twice a week. Make sure you're watching. If they get uninterested in it, you know, that's pretty much telling you they're full. Uh, compatibility, any, you know, just let me know in the comments what you think you want to put them with. And these guys are from Fiji. And again, since it's an eel, make sure you have plenty of caves and crevices. PVC pipes are really cool. I remember we had a great idea to put some, like lay them out in the tank and then pour sand over them and then set up your rock structure so then he would have plenty of room to go even without having to go through the rocks. So that was really cool. And this is one of the ones that doesn't bother other fish. Like with the snowflake eel, you have to watch. If it can fit in his mouth, he'll eat it. But with the zebra, you know, you can really put anything in there. He's not going to mess with it. Uh... Not so sure about invertebrates. He's probably going to eat those though. So I wouldn't take a chance on putting that in there. But other than that, that's your zebra ray eel, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Go check out my other episodes. And if you're new here, hey, I hope this interests you. And I hope to see you back again. Y'all have a good day.